my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson and welcome back to Stomp Box Saturday. I'm very excited for this week's episode because I love Way Huge Electronics, have for a very long time, and this is a pedal that has been somewhat elusive in my uh, acquisition of their pedals. Today we are taking a look at the Smalls version of the Geisha Drive. Now some of you may be wondering what exactly the Geisha Drive is, and I'm sorry to say I can't tell you with 100% certainty. However, based on the clues that I've gathered and playing this thing, I would guess that it's loosely based around a Maxon Sonic Distortion. I feel like this is fairly accurate because the original copy that went along with the original issues of the Geisha Drive said it was based on the way huge Mr. Box pedal. That pedal being sort of a mystery pedal that is available to certain hands only, mine of which are not two of them. For a time, a Mr. Box pedal was seen on Michael Landau's pedal board, and Michael Landau has a long history of using the Maxon Sonic Distortion and variations of that circuit. So based on that, that's kind of where I'm forming this idea. Now having said all that, what really matters is what we can do with it if we have one of our own. So let's go ahead and dive into the controls and just check out how beautiful this pedal is. Did I not just say that this thing was beautiful? The artwork on this is absolutely stunning. Combining the two artwork colorings of the blue and the red variant of the original Geisha Drive into one enclosure. I just love that Japanese artwork on that stark white pedal enclosure. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. Outside of how beautiful it looks, there are three controls. The usual suspects on an overdrive distortion pedal, volume, tone, and drive. That's all we really need to know. So now let's dive into actually playing the thing. I wanna start out running it with all knobs straight up at noon into the clean channel of the orange rocker verb 100. The rocker verb is of course plugged into my matching orange PPC 212 cab with my three favorite microphone combination of a Shure SM57, a Sennheiser 421, and the Hilby Boho ribbon microphone. I like taking pedals I've never played before and immediately going to that all knobs at noon thing because it gives me an idea of what my jumping off point is. And now you'll notice when I play the clean tone of the rocker verb, it breaks up quite a bit. I actually feel like Maxon Sonic Distortion pedals and derivatives of that circuit tend to like to see an amp with a bit of breakup. So I think we're gonna have a good time here. <laughs> finding yourself enjoying this video at any point in its duration, I would really love it if you click the subscribe button, rang the notification bell, and gave the video a thumbs up. That kind of simple stuff really helps the channel out. This sound might be one of the strongest all settings at noon that I've played in a very long time. It's an incredibly balanced sound, neither being too shrill nor too flubby and tubby in the low end. The amount of gain we have is really quite extraordinary, and it actually does kind of clean up, which is pretty cool. But now let's go ahead and check out the range of the drive and the tone control, just to see what else we can get out of it. I'm sure there'll be some surprises along the way, so let's jump in. 
observations before we move on to some sample tones for you. I really do feel like my suspicion of this being based on a sonic distortion is pretty accurate. It has that very good compressed distortion that does have a good amount of cleanup and I do tend to favor the darker side of the tone control. However, one of the improvements on that circuit, if this is truly based on that circuit, is the fact that this tone control is far more usable than a max on sonic distortion. That tone control tends to be pretty one note and most players that use it tend to turn it all the way down and just barely turn it up to get a little extra articulation. Not so with this. But having said all that, let me show you a few different sounds with a few different guitars and just basically keeping it as raw as possible. Guitar, geisha drive, maybe a little delay. It's just time to have some fun.
have it, friends. That is the Way Huge Electronics Smalls Geisha Drive. I'm absolutely loving that the Smalls series of Way Huge pedals is bringing these older, second coming Way Huge limited edition pedals to a wider audience. I don't know the final number of Geisha drives that were initially made in the blue and red versions, but it doesn't matter now. It's all here and it sounds fantastic. Whether it's been my Les Paul, my Jennings Navigator, my Strat, or my Vola, those guitars all respond so incredibly well to the Geisha Drive, and none of the guitars feel like it's masked by the sound being created by the pedal. So the fact that you maintain your instrument's character no matter what you're playing is pretty darn great. Before we wrap up, a few housekeeping items. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time and you wanna support what I do, I would love it if you became a member of my email club. You can click the link in the description box down below or just go to seanpiercejohnson.com slash email. Members of the club are sent videos just like this direct to their email inbox, sometimes a week ahead of time, and that's at no cost, early access videos. Plus, you're also entered into club-only giveaways, which I'll be announcing one in the coming weeks, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. And if you'd like to take your support one step beyond that, go ahead and use the affiliate links I have in the description box as well. Each one of those you can use for your regular everyday gear shopping needs and I earn a small commission. Now, although they're small, they do add up over time. And the fact that so many of you have been using them lately has really, really put my mind at ease and helped out a lot. So thank you very much. To close, I wanna say a thank you again to my friends at Zounds for sending this pedal my way and bringing me into their affiliate family. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to acquire one of these Geisha drives for yourself, check out zoundswith2zs.com and buy one today. And of course, thank you to all of you for spending part of your day with me. I greatly appreciate it. Until we see each other again, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson wishing you all watching great tone, great health, and of course, happy stomping. Cheers, friends. God bless.